Welcome to a city that has it all. History, stunning beaches, perfect weather, and more deadly shark attacks than anywhere else in South America. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Recife in northeastern Brazil. Those sharks didn't scare you off, I hope. Hold on, soon you'll know why this is a place you need to visit. Hola! I bid you all welcome to wonderful Recife in northeastern Brazil. A somewhat disregarded gem of a city with marvelous beaches. This, uh, so. this is the perfect place for a magical weekend packed with endless beaches, delicious food, colonial architecture, cheap caipirinhas, wonderful people and nocturnal adventures. There is only one slight problem. If you go into the water, you might die. <laughs> Imagine a city that kind of has the vibe of Rio, but with eternal tropical sunshine a higher degree of safety and the most awesome people in Brazil. You can stop imagining now, you're already there. Recife, one of the most appealing cities in the Northeast. Well, except for those deadly sharks lurking in the water. There they are, just waiting to have a little bite of you. <laughs> and yeah, there's not a lot of people swimming. I gotta be honest, it is hard to put it out of your head. They're probably further out, but you never know. Let's try it out at least. Finally, that was the last we saw of this annoying gringo. We'll get back to those sharks. First, some of the basics. Recife is one of Brazil's biggest cities and hides far up there in the northeast. This place has a bunch of different faces. It's a mix of old and modern, beautiful and downright ugly. And the heart of this whole machine, Boa Viagem, 8 kilometers of perfect beach and 30 degree water. This one just goes on forever. <laughs> Let's have a chat with the locals. Por que você gosta Recife? Então, eu gosto de Recife por conta da cultura, do frevo, das baladas. Você pode curtir muito durante a noite? Sim, só acaba, só acaba no outro dia, de manhã. Muitos clubes, muitas baladas. Sim, muitos. Qual é essa coisa? Esse daqui é o de camarão. Shrimp and soup, that's beach life in Recife. Isso, muito bom, com a cervejinha bem geladinha. Por que você gosta de Recife? Por quê? Gosto da praia. Por que eu gosto de Recife? Porque aqui é um lugar maravilhoso para você vir com os amigos, aproveitar a praia, a cultura daqui é incrível, sem contar também nas pessoas, não é? Então Recife tem muitos lugares, tem muitas culturas também. Então finais de semana aqui é sempre muito badalado, tanto quanto praias, quanto bares, restaurantes. Então, por favor, venham visitar aqui Recife. Let's get this weekend guide started. If you only have a few days in Recife, the very first thing you need to do is head straight down to Praia Boa Viagem. This is probably where you'll be staying anyways. The southern stretch is probably not the best place to hang out. This is where a big chunk of the shark attacks occur, and the beach will be narrow and not very accessible. For obvious reasons, you will not see a lot of people swimming here. Just keep walking and you'll see this lovely beach turn wider and wider. Now just pick a spot to settle down. So, let's try this Praia Boa Viagem, this famous beach everyone keeps talking about. There's a song about it. Você gosta de Recife Porquinho? 
pelo clima, pelas pessoas, pela praia, por tudo. Assim, acho que é mais pelo clima. Ah, the weather. I can't stress enough how great the weather is up here. Betinha, obrigada. O que você gosta da Recife? Praia, é, ponto turístico tipo Bazinho, é, Recife Antigo, Arsenal, Olinda também, que é um lugar bom de se ir. Obrigada. Obrigado. And off she goes. Hardest working beach girl in Recife. <laughs> This area is also a bit safer for a swim. And the Northeast is famous for its food. Don't forget to eat a lot of food. This is a specialty of the Northeast. Carne do Sal. It's also so much better than it looks. Se você só tem dois dias ou um fim de semana, qualquer coisa você precisa fazer. E a praia? Eu acho que é isso. Só praia, bebida. I can't really argue with those priorities. If the touristy part of Boadiagem feels too crowded for you, put those flip-flops on and enjoy a nice roll towards the north side. You'll get plenty of opportunity to recharge your energy. Rigano. That's a good winner! Don't forget to bring change for water. You'll not be freezing walking the water's edge. So warm! Pretty much has the same temperature as your own sweats. Okay, that's enough. It's seriously time for a break. Oh, minha capirinha! Obrigado. Could I be any happier right now? I honestly don't know. This is pretty darn near perfect. All right, if time is precious, don't waste your whole day at the beach. There is another place you'll hate yourself for not visiting. Technically, beautiful Olinda is actually its own city, but it's so close you won't even notice you've left Recife. Estamos na cidade de Olinda. Olinda é famosa pelo tempo, que é uma cidade antiga que sofreu colonização portuguesa, que é muito bonita a cidade e tem muita história. É uma cidade histórica. Sim, vamos ver a igreja agora. In short, Olinda is where you go to get your fill of culture and architecture. Or to convince yourself you didn't spend your entire stay in Recife just drinking caipirinha in the sun. And yeah, it's also more than 500 years old, stained with bloody shameful history. And it's absolutely stunning. Souvenirs, yeah, they got them too. But this place is not as touristy as you might think. Just wait and see. As you leave the main tourist site and walk into the actual old town, the Olinda experience will soon start feeling much more genuine. These hills are steep. The lovely architecture and the vibrant colors of the houses here will melt even the coldest of hearts. This is an experience you'll get in very few of Brazil's major cities. My only advice, keep walking up and down the roads and soak in the atmosphere. You're basically alone here. There's no one else here but you and history. What makes this place special is that it's not just an old dead historical place. Olinda has its own vibrant life and culture. Ask nicely to enter one of the charming houses and be surprised over what's waiting inside. So, this is an art shop where they're preparing for the upcoming carnival. Just look at these magnificent guys. So, how many hours does it take to make one of these? Depende do depende do boneco, pode ser 15 dias. Seu seu irmão, não? Os antigos pesavam 50 quilos. 50 quilos. Yikes! Imagine carry that around for the whole carnival. I think I'll stick to my pirate outfit. 
here we are at the main attraction in Alinda, according to TripAdvisor. This 300 years old monastery dates back to the early days of Portuguese colonization. It's impressive, one of a kind, and well, you know, it's a church. The real action in Olinda takes place outside. To be honest, I prefer just walking around, admiring the view rather than going to church. But if religious buildings is your thing, I'd rather recommend this one right down the hill. It's got more of that brutal, spooky vibe. This area is also full of cozy, really nice restaurants. Okay, here it comes. And I know, I'm not the first one to say it. But yes, this place reminds a little of Havana, Cuba. Also, don't be afraid to walk the narrow alleys. This is where real life takes place. As long as there's daylight, you'll be fine. Linda Old Town also has a beach. Feel free to come down here for an afternoon drink, but I wouldn't recommend swimming. All in all, you'll need at least three hours here. If you watch my stuff before, you know what's coming up now. How is Recife after dark? The perfect compromise for you who like to stay cheap is to check in at the Ramon Hostel in Boa Viagem. It's a simple place, but right in the middle of the action. This area is ideal for weekdays, when the big nightclubs stay closed. And yeah, it's not really wild. Porque você gosta de Recife? Eu gosto das praias, eu gosto do sol, na, da areia. Uma galera bem calorosa, digamos. É isso que eu amo em Recife, com Recife. So it is time to check out the vibe in Recife during night time. Let's try a bar. Boa Viagem is where much of the action happens. Where are we now? Onde estamos? 081 Drink. 081 Drink. Lugar muito famoso. I should say this, we arrived an oddly quiet night and Recife nightlife starts late. So we're now doing our third caipirinha here. This girl is strong. She can hold it in better than me. Você não está bêbada? Nem um pouco. Nem um pouco. This girl can drink a whale under the, under the table. <laughs> or maybe it's just me losing touch. Anyways, this is the number one nightclub in town. Remember, the fun here doesn't start until after midnight. And that's where my battery died. Maybe a little too much for just one day. Good morning. Yeah, I know I mentioned staying at a hostel, but since Recife isn't really a backpacking town, an Airbnb might be a better way to enjoy your stay. This one, $40 a night. <laughs> yes, this is looking good. This is what we came for. Oh my God. That's a decent view. Okay, let's get to the bottom of the shark situation. Yes, there is a recent Recife is called South America's deadliest coastline. During a period of 14 years, 17 people died on these beaches. All right, let's go say hi to those sharks, shall we? This might be the last Swedish gringo footage you'll ever get. So how far do we dare to go? <laughs> Probably not that far, because this phone is not waterproof, you know? Last deadly shark attack happened about two years ago. You kind of feel like you're on the clock taking a swim here. Any second could be your last. Okay, that's got deep fast. Well. See that reef? Try to stay inside one of those. Just a nice, relaxed swim in the water full of tiger sharks. Tiger sharks are the problem here, and this area accounts for almost 50% of all attacks in South America. I can't 
according to my sources, the most dangerous area will be over there. That's basically where a lot of people die. Maybe keep away from there. But there's no point overselling the danger here. As long as you're staying within this little reef here, you should be 95% safe. I mean, other people obviously survive. So far, I'm still alive. <laughs> so it's okay to take a swim? Yes, but stay close to the shore. <laughs> Not just the drinks are great here. But I gotta tell you, situation on a beach is way different here from Rio. Here, I actually feel totally safe just leaving my phone on the table. It is not a beach where you have to keep constant track of your belongings. Okay, you don't have to look over your shoulder at the beach. How about the rest of town? So then, how safe is Recife? Well, fact is, this city has some pretty unattractive crime stats. But crime works a little different here than in, let's say, Rio. When you're in a safe area here, you're simply in a safe area. Basically, if you're sticking to the touristy parts of Recife and Olinda, you will not have a single worry security-wise during your whole stay. Recife is 100% safe to visit. As long as you don't get eaten by sharks. Recife is interesting enough on its own, but there's a couple of really nice places to visit south of town. The most popular one, Porto de Galinhas. This cute little name translates to the chicken port, but hides a nasty truth. Let's just say chickens used to be codenamed for slaves. Now a major domestic tourist destination and several times selected the best beach in Brazil. At least visit over the day if you don't have the time to spend the night. All I need now? Some rum! Check out my full travel guide for all the stuff you need to know about Porto de Galinhas. Alright friends, now there's just one major thing left to do. Checking out Recife Old Town. And we'll do it the best way possible. So, let's do a little bicycle tour in the deadly traffic of Recife. <laughs> this is Bianca. Bianca is my travel guide. Honestly, this was one of the coolest experiences I had. I just asked if it's safe here, apparently it's not. They always say that. Best way to stay safe? Keep moving. I've never seen this city this beautiful. Always ride a bike, folks. Bianca, you're not gonna kill me, are you? Maybe, it's not right me. Great thing about doing this at night, there is barely any traffic. And things just get so much more fun on a saddle than sitting locked up in a taxi. And if you're lucky, you might just roll into a street party. Amazing! This whole city is just wild! <laughs> I have no idea how often this occurs. So These street dances are open for everyone. Feel free to join in. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but the beer just went cane ship. It's too warm to drink now according to all Brazilian laws. Just look at it. It still has condensation on it. Hey, cane ship? Not cane ship. Feels pretty damn cold to me. Yeah, and if you haven't eaten yet, Old Town is the right place, usually. But the restaurant was closed. Uh, this is not a good place to be stuck waiting for another taxi, apparently. When things are closed, the bad boys come out to play. And who is this, by the way? Oh, 
Who are you? Wonderland. Don't worry, it all worked out well in the end. I got my drink. One good thing about Recife. Yeah, why? Because they are uh, so gentle and nice. What is your favorite thing about Recife? I have to agree. It's just something with the people here in the Northeast. They're so warm, they're so open. And well, <laughs> it's always sunny, it's always warm for Recife. <laughs> there you go. That's your perfect weekend. Okay, so what is the verdict here? Well, most international tourists coming to Recife, they only stay over the weekend a few days. In my opinion, that's way too little. To really get the vibe and the soul of this city, you ought to stay at least a week. I was here much longer and I don't want to leave. Think of it as a little smaller, little slower Rio with higher safety and much warmer people. Just an example of how incredibly warm and open-hearted the people of the Northeast are. When I was going to be spending Christmas all alone, I was invited to the home of this lovely family, which I'd never met before. Welcome to Recife. Stay tuned for the next Brazilian adventure. And subscribe. I'm talking to you. My Caipirinha budget is running dry. Thanks for watching and be safe.